So what are some common ways a narcissist can manipulate you? Uh, there's, there's several. Probably the, the most well-known is what they call gaslighting. Gaslighting is when a narcissist will try to convince you that you're crazy, that you're not, you're not seeing things straight. Anger is one of the main ways that they manipulate people. They will get you walking on eggshells around them, uh, afraid to set them off. When you start to create some distance between you and the narcissist, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll try to suck you back in. They sense that you're empowering yourself and they'll try to bring you back in just like sucking you back in like a vacuum cleaner. So they call that hoovering. And at that time, they might even try something that they call love bombing. That means that they're going to start sending you gifts and telling you that you're the best thing that ever happened to them. It'll never happen again. And, you know, that makes you start to question, did I, did I see it the right way? It's like, man, maybe I should give them the benefit of the doubt. Hey, babe, I love that blue sweater on you. Oh, th thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, what's that behind you? Huh? What, what, what's behind me? Huh? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess it's nothing. Yeah, I get. Did you did you change shirts? Did I change shirts? No, I've always had on this red shirt. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. I literally just complimented you on that blue shirt you just had on. You might need to get your eyes checked or something like that because this is not blue. This is red. I feel like you're playing games with me and trying to confuse me. No, 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 no. You had on a blue shirt. No, 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 no. You are literally crazy. You're always crazy. You're always making stuff up and seeing things that aren't there. Oh my God, you're playing too much with, oh my God. Nobody's playing, playing anything with you. Oh yes, you are. What happened to the red shirt? Red shirt, what are you talking about? I've had this blue shirt on all day. You even complimented me on it earlier. You are going to drive me crazy. Well, at least you admit it. Let's talk about this one. I want you to know what this looks like. I want you to be able to identify it. I want you to understand why the narcissist does it. So to help you understand what this is, I'm gonna talk about my personal experience. A reverse discard is basically when the narcissist manipulates you into discarding them. So if you're with a narcissist and it seems as though their behavior is worsening and they're basically pushing you to the point of breaking up with them, well, that's because they are. Why would they do this? Excellent question. Narcissists love to play two characters, the hero and the victim. So if you discard them, they can now go to their new supply who, I hate to break it to you, but they've already been priming, which is part of why they're pushing you to discard them. So they can now go to the new supply and they can play the victim. I was with this person for a year and a half, and within that time frame, I reverse discarded two times. <laughs> Clearly, yes, they hoovered me once, otherwise there would have been a second discard. Hindsight's always 2020. Yes, I say that a lot because it's the truth. After the second reverse discard, I started educating myself on narcissism and narcissistic abuse. Then I started applying that to my personal experience, and I started to reflect and started understanding a lot. There were multiple times I attempted to reverse discard before I successfully did it. And each time I got the same response from the narcissist when I tried to walk away. What do you think that was? Something along the lines of, well, if you want to end this, if you want to walk away from the relationship, if you don't want to put the work into it, okay. Now, of course, this is a total mind fuck, right? And I used to think, wait, wait a second. No, this isn't, I'm not walking away because I don't want to put work into it. I'm walking away from this because you're manipulative. You lack all accountability. And I know you're already talking to somebody else, if not physically seeing them behind my back. Didn't understand what was going on. I didn't understand what was going on in the moment. I knew that he was trying to manipulate me. I thought he was maybe trying to manipulate me into staying and maybe that was part of it. I mean, I'm sure if I stayed, he would have loved it because he could have had his cake and eaten it too, like all narcissists like to do. But now, now I get it. The main motive for the reverse discard is so the narcissist can now go to the new supply who they've already been grooming, which means they've already started their smear campaign against you with. So now the new supply thinks that you, who in their eyes are the worst piece of human garbage to walk the earth, has abandoned the poor narcissist. So what is the new supply going to do? They're going to pour even more love, affection, compassion, empathy, affection into the narcissist. Hello? Hey, yeah, it's me, your mother. Oh, hey, mom. I can only talk for a couple of minutes. I had a long day and I'm tired. 
Okay, well anyway, I'm on the way home from the grocery store and the cashier really pissed me off because they wouldn't take my coupon just because it was expired. I swear they have it out for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, so because of them trying to mess over me, I'm just too tired, so I need you to come over right now and unload these groceries for me and clean up the house because I can't do it right now. I can't today. I'm tired. After everything I've done for you? After I gave birth to you? You are so ungrateful. I see. Well, I'm not coming. Ugh, so you're fine with being ungrateful for everything your own mother has done for you? I have to get off the phone shortly. Is there anything else? Ugh, I can't believe you're not going to come over here and help me after everything I do for you. I have no one else. I do a lot for you, and I can't today. I'll talk to you later.